Chapter 4 Drainage Systems and Water Resource of Ethiopia and the Horn Drainage The flow of water through well-defined channel tributaries, the rivers that flow into a drainage basin, topographic regions from which river and its tributaries collect both the surface runoff and subsurface flow. Headwater slash source, place where river begins mouth, place where river ends drainage system is branched network of stream channels together with the adjacent land slopes they drain. It is made up of a principal river and its tributaries the drainage pattern of an area is the outcome of the geological processes, nature and structure of rocks, topography, slope, amount, and the periodicity of the flow. 29% of Earth's total surface covered by land mass 71% water bodies majority occupied by seas and oceans 97.5% dash alkaline accumulated in the sea and ocean 2.5% dash fresh water 68.7% glaciers 30.1% ground water slash subsurface 0 0.8% permafrost soil covered by ice around the poles 0.4% surface water in lakes, rivers, atmosphere, soil, wetland the most abundant and easily available fresh water fresh water is distributed unevenly throughout the world following varied latitudinal locations, climatic and Topographic Setups The topographic setup of Ethiopia is characterized by complex blend of massive highlands, rugged terrain, and low plains. The diverse topographical setup, relatively higher rainfall and its nearness to equator made the country to have larger volume of ground and surface water. Around 0.7% of the total land mass of Ethiopia is covered by water bodies. Although it requires further detailed investigation, the country's surface water potential as studied in different integrated river basin master plans is estimated to be 124.4 billion cubic meters, BCM. Consequently, many call Ethiopia, the water tower of Eastern Africa. The general patterns of major river basins in Ethiopia are determined by topographical structures which can be clarified as a the topography of the outward sloping of the western and southeastern plateaus b, the structural formation of the rift valley with its inward sloping escarpments resulting mainly in an inland drainage system, c, faults and joints that structure. 4.2 Major Drainage System of Ethiopia Ethiopia possesses three broadly classified drainage systems namely Western Drainage System 1. Abadi 2. Takis 3. Barokobo 4. Gaib slash Omo Southeastern Drainage System 1. Genal 2. Wabishevel Rift Valley Drainage Systems. 1. Awash Western and the Southeastern drainage systems are separated by the Rift Valley system. 1. The Western drainage systems the largest of all drainage systems draining 40% of the total area of the country carry 60% of the annual water flow this drainage system comprises four major river basins namely the Takis, Abadi, Barrow Akobo, Gaib, 
Omo. Unlike other river basins in the system, the Gibe, Omo, flows southward. The Abbey, Tekazi and Barrow flow westward ultimately joining the Nile which finally ends at Mediterranean Sea. I. Abbey River Basin the largest river both in volume trick discharge and coverage in the western drainage systems 54.5 BCM annual volume covers an area of 199,812 square kilometers, covering parts of Amhara, Oramiyand Binish and Gulgumas regional states. Together with its tributaries, most of which are left bank tributaries, it carries 65% of the annual water flow of the region Abbey which rises from Lake Tana. Some sources indicate its origin from Sakila, Choke Mountain, flows about 1,450 km sand joins the White Nile in Khartoum, Sudan to form the Nile River. More than 60 streams drain Abbey within elevation ranging between 500 minus 4,261 meters above sea level. The largest of these is Gil Little Abbey. Abbey flows eastward, turns 180 degree to make a large bend and after cutting an impressive and deep gorge emerges out in the west. 2. Takis with its tributaries, carrying 12% of the annual water flow of the region drains 82,350 square kilometers of land surface within elevation ranging between 536-4517 massal erosion in the basin resulted in large table lands, plateau blocks, and isolated mountain groups. The basin has two main tributaries, Angerband Gong, which rises in the central highlands of Ethiopia. Takiz River is termed at Bare in Sudan, which is a tributary of the Nile. The total mean annual flow from the basin is estimated to be 8.2 billion metric cubes, BMC, Hereafter. 3. Barrow Akobo drains the wettest highlands in the south carries 17% of the annual water flow area 75,912 square kilometers, covering parts of the Benish and Gulgumas, Gambela, Waramia, and SNNPR. The total mean annual flow from the river basin is estimated to be 23.6 BMC. The barrow together with Akoba forms the Sobat River in South Sudan of Gaib slash Omo drains southwestern Ethiopia. Carries 6% of the annual water flow. Drains an area of 79,000 square kilometers with an estimated mean annual flow of 16.6 BMC finally empties into the Chuba Ira at the mouth of Lake Turkana, an elongated rift valley lake, thereby forming an inland drainage. To the southeastern drainage systems the basin which is mainly drained by Wabishabelindganal, slopes southeastwards across large water deficient plains. Major highlands of this basin include plateaus of Arsai, Bale, Sidamond Harag. Wabishabelindganal Ivers cross the border into Somalia, carrying 25% of the annual water flow of Ethiopia.
Inal River Basin has an area of 171,042 square kilometers, covering parts of Oromia, SNNPR, and Somali regions. Ginal, which has fewer tributaries but carries more water than Wabishabel, reaches the Indian Ocean. The basin flows estimated to be 5.8 BMC within elevation ranging between 171-4385 meters above sea level. In Somalia it is named the Juba River. Wabishabel River Basin a total catchment area of 202,697 km2 the largest river in terms catchment area it drains parts of Oromia, Harari and the Somali regions it is the longest river in Ethiopia. Its tributaries are mainly left bank and, most of them, are intermittent despite its size, the Wabishabela fails to reach the Indian Ocean where at the end of its journey it flows parallel to the coast before its water disappears in the sands, just near the Juba River. 3. The Rift Valley Drainage System An area of small amount of rainfall, high evaporation and small catchment area. The only major river basin is that of the Awash. Awash River Basin catchment area of 114,123 square kilometers and has an average annual discharge of 4.9 BCM originates from Shawan Plateau in central highlands of Ethiopia and flows 1,250 kms it covers parts of the Amhara, Oromia, Afar, Somali, Dire Dawa, and Addis Ababa city administration. The most utilized river in the country flows in a northeast direction. It finally ends in a maze of small lakes and marshy area, the largest of which is Lake Abe on the Athio Djibouti border. The Afar drainage sub-basin has practically no stream flow. It is an area of little rain, very high temperature and very high evaporation. Lake Afrirond Asali are the only main surface waters in the basin which are not the result of any meaningful surface flow. Their formation is related to tectonic activities. The southern part of the Rift Valley subbasin is characterized by a number of lakes and small streams. It is also described as lakes region. The lakes occupy fault depression there are small streams that drain down from the nearby mountain slopes which supply water to the lakes. For example, Mikiond Qatar rivers flow into Zewe, Bilatine to Abaya, and Sejen into Chubair. Likewise, some of these lakes are interconnected. Lakes Zewe and Longana drain into Lake Abijiata through the small streams of Bulbuland Harakula respectively. 4.3 Water Resources, Rivers, Lakes, and Subsurface Water 1. General Characteristics of Ethiopian Rivers Unlike many other African countries, Ethiopia is endowed with many rivers. Majority of the rivers originate from highland areas elevating more than 1,500 meters above sea level cross the Ethiopian boundary, they are transboundary. 
Ethiopian rivers form 12 major watersheds separating the Mediterranean Sea from the Indian Ocean drainage systems. 4.3 Water Resources rivers, lakes, and subsurface water The Ethiopian rivers Majority of the rivers originate from highland areas and cross the Ethiopian boundary. Altogether, Ethiopian rivers form 12 major watersheds separating the Mediterranean Sea from the Indian Ocean drainage systems. Due to the marked seasonality of rainfall, Ethiopian rivers are characterized by extreme seasonal fluctuation. In the wet season, runoff is higher and rivers are full bursting their banks, destroying small bridges, damaged roads, and flooding lowlands. During the dry seasons they became mere trickles of water or even dry up. Due to surface ruggedness they have rapids and waterfalls along their course. Some of the rivers serve as boundaries, both international and domestic administrative units. 2. The Ethiopian lakes Almost all Ethiopian lakes are result of tectonic process except few Ethiopian lakes. Majority of lakes are located within the Rift Valley system. Lake Tana, the largest lake in Ethiopia occupies a shallow depression in the highlands. The Tana Depression is believed to be formed following slower sinking and reservoir by lava flow between Gajajam and Gondar massifs. Ethiopia's also gifted with crater lakes. These include Etha Lake Sathand around Bishof to Wanchi, near Umbo, Haik, near Desi and the crater lake on top of Mount Zikwala. Lake Ashenj, Tigre, is formed on a tectonic basin. Manmata Lake is such as lakes Kaka Fincha Melkawakina and Manyother Lakes Demet following hydroelectric power generation projects. Cluster of lakes are lined up within main Ethiopian rift. Lake Tan is the largest of all the lakes in the system. The southern tip of the rift valley forms the marshy land called the Chu Bayer which is drained by Sagan and Watu. Shalan Zawayar are the deepest and the shallowest lakes in the central Ethiopian rift. Lake area, km square, max depth, m, lake area, km squa, max, km square, Tana 3609 Abijata 205 14 Abaya 1162 13.1 Awaza 129 10 Chamo 551 13 Ashenj 2020 5 Sway 442 8.95 Hake 523 Shala 400 and 9266 Basanka 48.511 Kaka 2059 3. Subsurface, ground, water resource of Ethiopia Climatic and geophysical conditions determine the availability of ground water resource. Ethiopian potential of groundwater is believed to range between 12 to 30 BMC. 4.4 Water Resources Potentials and Development in Ethiopia A. Hydroelectric Potential The exploitable potential of hydroelectric power is estimated at about 45,000 megawatts. 
The first hydroelectric power generation plant was installed on Akaka River, Abba Samuel, in 1932 the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is the largest dam under construction aiming to generate 6,400 megawatts Giljaljib 3 hydropower project has gone operational generating 1,870 megawatts currently Ethiopia is administering 14 hydroelectric power plants constructed on Lake Abba Samuel, Kaka, Tiz Abbey, Awash, Melkawakina, Vincha, Jibe Slash Omo, Tanabilisan Takis, generating close to 4,000 megawatts of Energy The seasonal flow fluctuations and severe erosion from the highlands and sedimentation in the reservoirs is also a critical problem for hydroelectric power generation. B. Irrigation and transportation The terrain in Ethiopia is so rugged that it limits the uses of Ethiopian rivers both for irrigation and transportation. But on the lowlands, their demand for irrigation is high. Regardless of existing physiographic setups, Ethiopia's potential of irrigation is estimated to be 5.3 million hectares. The Barrow Akobo and Genal de Wet Iver systems have large irrigation potential compared to other basins. The Barrowed its lower course is the only navigable river. Ethiopian lakes are much suitable for transportation than rivers. Lake Tain and Abaya are relatively the most used for transportation. C. Fishing and Recreation Fishing The majority of Ethiopian lakes are rich in fish. Currently the annual production of fish is estimated to be 31.5 thousand tons. More than 60% of fish supplies are coming from Ethiopian main rift valley lakes. However, some of the lakes are currently threatened by sedimentation, invasive species, water hyacinth, over exploitation and expansion of investments around lakes. Recreation There are a variety of fish, birds, and other aquatic life forms in the lakes. This and the scenic beauty of the lakes, the hot springs around them, endemic wildlife important recreational and tourist attractions.